Morons, are they just morons? Fa 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 morons. Morons, dum dum. Are they just? Are are the, are the media morons? Well, I mean, you know, obviously the media are morons. That, that's kind of a stupid question. Um, have they have they found some new pedestal of stupidity from which to shit upon our brains? It just seems like they've 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 enhanced the the flux capacitor from which their their degenerateness oozes, and you know, like. They're trying to warp us all back into the amoeba stage of human development. Jill Stein. Is getting a recount. Because Donald Trump threatened to throw Hillary Clinton in jail. So if Donald Trump, the dictator... Who stole the election? Okay, just start saying it. Who stole the election? There's no reason to legitimize his presidency. He stole the election. Would you rather legitimize his presidency or continue to legitimize our democracy and acknowledging the fact that he stole the election? He threatened to throw his opponent in jail. So do you expect to hurt her? Hillary Clinton to call for the recount. No, Jill Stein is doing the right thing because of what's going on. She's protecting democracy. And anyone giving her a hard time is anti-democratic. Period. Flagging yourself as a fascist. That's what you're doing. And... You better watch yourself in the eyes of the baby Jesus. <laughs> Insert creepy laughter. Um, so, how y'all doing? Um, don't really have much else to talk about other than that. But I'm just getting kind of sick of the whole false equivalency thing. And Kellyanne Conway, you know, talking about, oh, but Hillary Clinton was horrified when Donald Trump said that he would accept the results of the election. Oh, Hillary Clinton was not being assisted by the Russians and harassing the press and showing all the other signs of fascism, which you seem to be turning a blind eye to. Toughen up, people. This is the army of media. This is not a group of pundits that you are going up against. I've been trying to prepare people for years for this. And when I say go back and watch my videos, do what you can, when you can. While you're waiting for the punchlines, you'll find that there's probably enough time for you to research exactly what was going on at the time. I didn't used to make videos every single day about news type stuff. But understanding just how this has unfolded, getting confidence in the fact that this is a Russian coup, against the United States. A coup d'etat, if you will. You 
you need to get yourself mentally prepared on that level. Don't confuse this a t- with a time, young Turks and and but what's his, what all all the little the the little shills that rotated in and out of all the other little media fucking pundits. Don't don't confuse your current situation with an opportunity to further your agenda. This is a time for one course of action to unite for the cause of common American values to stop tyranny. This isn't Republican versus Democrat anymore. This is Americans versus anarchists. This is Americans versus subversive agents populized by anarchists. And we are using key words in the media every day that if you took political science classes decades ago, you would have learned should raise your eyebrows and and, and hmm, sound the alarm in every middle sex village in town. Like I, I I'm like Whoa. Be warned, people. Be warned. I've been holding back on a lot of things. But I think if you know me, you know that I'm getting my way on a lot of things right now. Some things that I've stepped into recently, if you haven't noticed. And you're welcome. Now, if somebody could investigate the fact that the conquistadors were Islamic, and so was the original conquest, not discovery, of the Louisiana territories from the Johannite settlers that were here before 1492, huh. in secret, but they found an old city that their ancestors had built not that long before, only a couple hundred years before. It had been abandoned for 120 years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think I came up with the date at the time. But I'm not trying to go into weird reincarnated type memory, memories. Memories. Those two. I'm not trying to go into either right now. <laughs> no. Okay. Um. So, let me just check the scroll, see if there's anything I want to talk about. I'm not forgotten. I'm not. I'm forgetting to talk about. I'm not forgotten. Yeah. Um. I like an album title. David Pakman. Not the time to push the progressive agenda. Well, Hillary Clinton, like like we all know, Young Turks. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote despite the vast media campaign against her. Despite the vast right-wing conspiracy, as it were, that included Russian fuck hacking. She still won that popular vote. The right thing to do for democracy and against tyranny at this juncture would be to rally behind Hillary Clinton. But you see, she's giving 
new credence to the term shadow cabinet as far as what she's doing right now. She's she's holding them close to the vest. Holding them real close to the vest. But deep down in your hearts, you all know that capitalism is what makes this country work and that Hillary Clinton is the best thing for us right now. You know, I'd feel, uh, as much as I like personally, as much as I personally just adore Joe Biden, in a time where we're on the brink of possible war, you know, existential war, I would rather somebody like Hillary Clinton. Because I don't believe in Pizzagate bullshit, and that she's, you know, an enemy to anybody anybody you know unless you're a super predator which I, I've met a few of those fought a couple hmm. <sighs> and she wasn't referring to all black people in that statement let's just give you an idea of the media campaign that she had to face Just a reasonable, well-educated, thoughtful person who would, if elected by the Electoral College or by a vote of the House and Senate, would appoint a series of advisors and cabinet members that would represent all Americans, conservative, you know, Republican and Democrat, and, you know, we'd have... Bernie Sanders, no, we wouldn't. It was too late for that. But she might appoint Bernie Sanders to something. Because he wouldn't be head of the finance committee because the election was fucking act to shit. Democrats were going to sweep, just, just like people were saying. I mean, pollsters have adapted to the so-called unpredictability in a lot of ways and spend a lot of money and a lot of research doing so. And people who are saying that the press got it long, wrong by and large are, are really just delusional and not remembering all the stuff that was happening before the election, you know? And if you think that them saying that Hillary Clinton was two points out ahead of Donald Trump, Well, she's, she, she won the election by two points, popular vote. So, yeah. Two or three points. Poll of polls was like two and a half points, I think, average. No need for the press, the hardworking news people, to apologize. But we really do need to work on that differentiating between the media and the press. See, if your media, like Fox News, or like these progressives, libtards, um, your media, you're working as media, you're, you're presenting information as fact. That's always been the purveyors of the printer printing press from back in the day and just you know why the people in Germany and France thought that shit was faggy basically I'm kidding well being a bit hyperbolic anyway Steve Harvey was on The View. That was hilarious. Catch that if you can. Two Russian medics supposedly killed by a rebel mortar fire because they knew that they had a Russian hospital tent set up. 
or it was artillery fire. No, it wasn't mortar fire. It was actual artillery fire. Because, you know, when I think rebels, I think accurate artillery fire. Don't you? Oh, yeah. And when I think the Russians said it happened, I think it must have really happened. Don't you? <laughs> no. Wait, hold up. Let, let's, let's translate this into truth from Russian. Um, two Russian medics killed. Okay, so Russians killed two medics in an Aleppo hospital. Okay. Right? So, take the KGB voice of the accuser interpretation of uh, Alex Jones and Pizzagate. Because, you know, historically speaking, it's been the Mongolian horde, the communist regime, the KGB, and the Islamic Empire, and their unified... Um, influential regimes like Gaddafi's Libya, who have perpetrated most of the child enslavement there is. That's why people, you know, who know facts and history and whatnot, you know, those kind of things. Faggy little things like that. Um, tend to think that the KGB installing a little dictator guy into the nation that is, you know, damn near solely responsible these days, the last vestige of hope for anti-child slavery operations. You know, like Amber Alerts, that thing that Bernie Sanders vote, voted against. I mean, taking down America is an important thing for every evil fucker on the planet. So can we stop letting them do it, maybe? Just a thought. Thanks for watching. And if you prayed for Bob, thanks for praying for Bob. He's still hanging in there. I'm um I'm missing another little tiny baby and I'm missing one of the rose bubble tips because it took a walk and I can't find where the hell it went. And um that's all for tonight. Thanks for watching people. If I uh find anything else interesting that I think you should know about about a bite. Maybe I'll take a bite out of it. I don't know chew it up and spit it out at you. Peace. Hit the like button. And, you know, try not to break your phone.